switching up, putting on the red <coughs> lipless crank here, Strike King KVD. I don't have any strikes yet. And mine is just only my second time out here. Well, my first time out here. I did get bit on that, that shad pattern. But the water's kind of muddy right now. And it was that day as well. Try this red pattern out and see what happens. If not, then we're just gonna leave and hit another spot. Hopefully we can get on one guys. There we go, guys. I saw him on that red trap. You see. I worked a little fast and he's followed all the way up to the bank. So, if you notice, I let I, I played him pretty pretty well because I only had the back hooks here. So I wanted to see if I can pin him pretty good with another set of trebles, and I did. Not a giant guy, but still a solid fish, solid healthy fish. It was one in time bass fishing. And I fished that other one, the. Uh, Gives a shad pattern in the rental trap doing this red one. You see, I haven't been fishing it long and finally pent one. Look at this guy I'm pent here. These trapper tackles and got them locked in pretty good. I'm go ahead and get a release on him if I can get him unpent. One of the reasons why I played him so well, or so long, shall I say, so I could go ahead and get another set of troubles in there because I noticed he was only locked in with just the back set. Nice solid fish. Little chunky guy. Let's get a release on him. There he goes, guys. All right, spot number two. If I have enough time after this spot, We'll see, uh, <clears throat> might try to hit another third spot, maybe even a fourth. It's Sunday, so I got plenty of time to do some fishing in. <clears throat> Hopefully catch a few. So, again, we're going back to that, that lipless, guys. That KV Strike King Red Eye Shad, lipless crank. We're going to stick with that. Why not throw that red? chili crawl powder, you know. The last location was a little muddy, but not as muddy as this one. And this is actually pretty high as well. There's no wind whatsoever, which should be a good thing. But the rattles and the vibration that this lipless crank is giving off. And then uh, in the way I'm working this lipless back should produce a bite. As if I can catch one of those those bass that are uh, feeding. As we all know that their feeding times are less than they would be when the water temps are you know, 50 to 60 degrees. Given the fact that it's winter time, feeding time is only like 30 minutes a day. I'm not saying that's to the exact, but 
for the most part that's what the feeding patterns consist of oh, I see some bait moving over there I'm gonna start out working this one just like I did when I caught the first fish at the last location a steady reel retrieve and a pop every now and then Fish guys. Good one too. He's that he's five hooks. There we go. go guys <clears throat> again on that lipless red eye shad barely barely hook check that out it's about a three pounder all right guys here we go let's get a release from this guy 